Breaking Beauties, it's Miranda Valentine, editor of the Lifestyle Blog, Everything Sounds Better in French, and today we're gonna make our best ever chocolate cake. Now this is the most moist, rich, creamy, delicious, super chocolatiest cake you will ever, ever have. And I promise if you pair it with our chocolate sour cream frosting or even your favorite frosting, it is bound to be a huge knock it out of the park hit. So it's really easy to make and I have our ingredients all laid out here. We have one and a half cups of milk, three quarters of a cup of unsweetened cocoa powder, two cups of all-purpose flour, three eggs unbeaten, two cups of sugar, three quarters of a cup of unsalted butter, we have one teaspoon of baking soda, a half of a teaspoon of salt, we have two teaspoons here of vanilla, three quarters of a teaspoon of baking powder, and then these four ingredients up here uh, comprise our chocolate sour cream frosting, which is so, so tasty. So here we have a quarter of a cup of unsalted butter, one cup of semi-sweet chocolate pieces, two and a half cups of powdered sugar, and four ounces or half of an eight ounce container of sour cream. Now a quick note about this. As you'll see over here, we have a 13 by nine inch pan. This recipe that we have, the actual cake recipe, will either make one 13 by nine inch sheet cake, or you have two other options. It will make two nine inch by one inch round cakes, or two eight inch by eight inch square cakes. If you choose to do the two cakes, either the round or the square, you would need to double the frosting recipe. So just, just double everything, and you will frost those beautifully. But if you're just doing a sheet cake like we are today, just use the recipe as I provided it to you. So let's get started. We're gonna get started with the actual cake part. So I'm going to begin by adding my flour, my cocoa powder, my baking powder, my salt, and my baking soda. And I'm just gonna mix this all together until it's perfectly mixed, and then we're gonna set it aside. Okay, so our next step now is going to be beating the butter. A quick note about both the butter and the eggs. We've let the eggs and the butter sit out um, at about room temperature for at least 30 minutes. We're going to be beating the butter with an electric mixer, and if it was cold and hard, it would be really, really difficult to do. So pop the butter into the bowl. So let's mix our butter on medium to high speed, about 30 seconds. Okay, so now it's time to add in the sugar. Remember, a quarter of a cup at a time. And we're gonna continue stirring, mixing. And we're gonna keep doing this until all of our sugar is incorporated. It's gonna take us about three to four minutes. So now our butter and sugar are all creamed and we're gonna add the eggs in one at a time, continuing to beat about one minute total. Great, now that's all mixed together. The last step is to put in our vanilla. Okay, now we're ready to add in the milk and our delicious flour chocolate mixture over here. So we're gonna do a little bit of each alternating. So a little bit of milk goes in, and then a little bit of the mixture. And we're just gonna keep on going like this until it's all combined. And when you're mixing something together, be sure to keep scraping the sides and just kind of folding in any dry ingredients that are clinging to the side as you go. Okay, so we are ready to pour our beautiful super chocolate cake mixture into this pan. This is a 13 inch by nine inch again, and this has been greased. Um, first, put a little bit of parchment or wax paper down then um, grease it with your grease of choice and then lightly flour. So that's happening here. And then behind me, the oven has, is preheating at 350 degrees. I'm just gonna spread this out evenly. And we're gonna pop it in the oven for about 35 to 40 minutes for either this 13 inch or the two eight inch or 30 to 35 minutes if you're doing those two nine inch pans. So now we're gonna pop it in the oven, 350 degrees. For this, it's going to be 35 to 40 minutes or until I can insert a wooden toothpick in the center and it comes out nice and clean. So I'm gonna pop this in the oven and get started on my chocolate sour cream frosting. So we are going to begin by melting the chocolate in this saucepan. I have it on really low heat. When you're melting chocolate, 
it's pretty difficult if you just were to throw the chocolate in there without some sort of fat, either like an oil or a butter, the chocolate will just, it melts really, really fast and it will just burn. So I'm adding in the butter first and then adding in the chocolate and just watching it and mixing it together. And the moment it's all melted, just gonna turn the heat off and let it sit for five minutes. Okay, so my chocolate and butter melted beautifully together. I've let it cool for five minutes and I transferred it um, to this bowl just for easy mixing. I'm now adding in the sour cream and I'm just gonna mix this together just quickly. We're gonna be beating this in a second with the electric mixer, so no worries. Just give it a nice little, nice little twirl. Oh, it smells so good. Chocolate and sour cream, oh my gosh. Okay, set this to the side, and we're just gonna start adding in our powdered sugar and mixing it together until it's all nice and combined. And we're gonna do it a little bit at a time. Anytime you're introducing like a powder um, into some sort of liquid, like a solid, you wanna do it slowly so it has time to mix together and kind of absorb the dry ingredient. And we are good to go and frost our cake. So the beautiful cake is all frosted. I'm so excited about this chocolate sour cream frosting. It really brings something a little bit different to the dish. This is definitely bound to be a crowd pleaser because after all, this is our best ever chocolate cake. And now you know how to make it. Enjoy. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe. And if there's something that you wanna learn how to make, send me an email at requests at And don't forget to check out our other great videos.